So welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. So this is Ravi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you more information about how to create, how to configure Unity catalog and uh, how to create a meta store and how to create a schema or you can say database and how to create a table in Azure Databricks. So previous session, I have given more information about what is exactly Unity catalog and uh, information about uh, more uh, features related to unity catalog so let's understand how to create a unity catalog and how to create a meta store so that we will understand now so if you go to your databricks workspace and the user settings there is a option you can see manage account if you click on that once you click on our workspace so it will go to the admin console that you can say account console there you can find a workspaces, data, user management. If you go to the data, so there is an option called Metastore. So Metastore is a top level container for data unity catalog, which you need to create a first Metastore. Then you can go for a catalog and other things, catalog and other things. So this is the hierarchy, which I explained earlier video. Metastore, first we need to configure, then we can create a catalogs then we can create databases or schemas then we can create a manage table internal table external table and views this step creating meta store is very important step to create a meta store to create meta store directly if you go to this your databricks workspace right side you can see the user manage account if you click on that it will be routed to another page so there if you go to the data there you can see the right side uh, create meta store once you click on this you'll get this option so enter some name adb meta store then region select the region so i'm going to choose my services all are east us i'm going to choose region then data lake gen is required here then you need access connector so that is very important step first you need to create an access connector and grant role-based access that is blob storage storage blob privileges contributor privileges to this connector so how to create a connector if you go to this azure portal there you can search here access connector for azure databricks you can search you see this access connector for azure databricks Create a new connector. Select a resource group. This is my resource group. And uh, ADB connector. Or you can say access connector. ADB. Select the location. Then review and create. So I'm going to create an access connector. That access connector, once you create an access connector, that access connector will have a resource ID. So that resource ID, you need to copy that. So it will be available within a few seconds. It won't take much time, just to refresh. Access connector is required. Yes, it's done. Go to the resource. So you see this resource ID, right? Copy this resource ID. I copy the resource ID, go to the account console, paste that resource ID here. Access connector ID, this one, the resource ID. It contains like a subscription, subscription ID, resource group, resource group name, then Databricks access connector, that access connector name. Copy this access connector name, go to your data lake, then give a blob contributor role. So go to the portal, storage accounts so this is my data lake gen 2 this is my data lake gen 2 go to the access control and assign a role based access a role assignment select a role called blob data contributor okay select this role go to the members select the member so whatever we created access connector select that connector so i granted blob data contributor role if you go to the role assignment you can find the role assignment here this one okay now we are given access 
and I'll create a container first. So I'll create a container ADB catalog. So container should be a single word. I'll go with the ADB catalog, ADB catalog. And inside this container, I'll create a folder. Metastore. So then what I'll do, I'll go, I'll take this uh, container path. If you go to the container properties, you will get the path, copy this path. I'll tell you that. So go to here. You see, if you look at this container name, at the rate, storage account name, dot DFS dot core dot windows dot net. Remove this HTTPS and then copy this our container name at the rate storage account name dot not blob so if you go with the blob it will raise exception saying that invalid format it should be dfs so data like gen 2 dfs means distributed file system data like gen 2 then your container inside this kind this is the container inside this container we have a folder that is metastore so this way which we need to provide a information while creating metastore i'll repeat again you need to create an access connector that access connector or resource id you need to copy that then you need to give a data like gen 2 so that access connector you need to grant the role based access that is storage blob data contributor role and then container name at the rate storage account name dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net then our folder name if you have a folder region name now click on next create then if sometimes privileges if it is taking time it will raise exception otherwise it you will get a next screen select that which workspace you want to select so I want to select this workspace, then enable. So it is going to enable Unity catalog. Okay, so privileges is very important. Now, this is done, just it is giving a congratulations. So ADB Meta Store has been created. Okay, now even uh, you can go and enable uh, Delta sharing and all the options, you'll get that. Just you can close this. And even if you go to the workspace, you can see the workspace. If you open that, you'll get a workspace. This is the workspace. So compute is very important here when you are going for compute. Compute, I'm using a single node single node cluster and a 12.1 Databricks runtime version. Okay, remember that. So then go to the data. Once you click on this data, now you will get an option called a data explorer. Now you will get option called whatever just now we created right that meta store you see this meta store we are able to see that inside meta store you can create a catalog there is option called catalog existing high meta store you can see that and there is option right side you can see create a catalog click on this create catalog adb catalog so when you go for creating a catalog there is option called external location even we can go and create external location and storage credentials. So that is very important for external locations, external tables to integrate the additional data lakes. So as of now, we go with uh, creating a mount point for blob storage data lakes, right? Now, when it comes to Unity Catalog, they're suggesting to use storage credentials instead of going for mount point. So use the storage credentials to access additional storages, additional block storages or data lakes. Okay. Then I'm going for creating a catalog, ADB catalog. Then this is the external location is optional. I'm going with the default uh, uh, existing one. Click on create. So you see this catalog is created inside the default schema is available information schema also is available and if you go to the information schema as i told you you can find the multiple views system views these are our system views 
which I explained in a previous video, this is a lot of information schema. Okay, system provided schema, system provided schema, all tables, catalogs, everything will be available here. So those are lot you can find here. Then there is an option called, if you go to the catalog, create a schema. You can create a new schema. I'm going to create an ADB schema. Even I'm not choosing any external location, just going with the default. Now, if you go to your data lake, that container, that Metastore. So here, if you create any table, it will be available. Okay, now let's go under, okay, cluster has been uh, stopped, just to restart the cluster. Then go to the data. You see this, just now we created a catalog. Inside the catalog, you can find a schema. Even there is option, you can see permissions, which you can grant the privileges. So there is an option called grant, select required privileges, like a use catalog, use schema, read only privileges, or all privileges to account user or any selected user. Okay, like this we can even we can grant the privileges. So this is at catalog level. Okay, then if you click on that schema, even schema level also you'll get the same option, permissions. But when you give a catalog level inherited from catalog to schema, schema to table. So you see this inherited. Now, so there is an option called table, okay, which you can go under upload data and create a table. There is an option called uh, add data. Once cluster is available, you can create a table. So I'll go and upload data or even you can integrate with the uh, additional storages or other services. Click on upload data. I'll upload one sample data file. This is a sample data file. Okay, and this is the catalog we created and the schema we created and the table name, it will go and uh, select this table name. Okay, and uh, you can give another table name, just uh, any, any user defined table name and the first row, contains header once cluster is available now it will give you the preview so it's loading loading for a preview once it is available which you can create a table where in a new unity catalog we created a catalog there we created a schema now we are creating a table now we are creating a table so only in an account console or you can say admin console there under data, creating meta store is important thing. Creating meta store. So, if you go and create another meta store, East US, you are not getting this. You see this because one region, only one meta store you can create. So that meta store you can assign to n number of workspaces. Okay, there is a workspace you can assign to n number of workspaces. But each region, this is the East US, we already created one meta store. So one region, one meta store, but you can assign to n number of workspaces. So that is possible. So while creating a meta store, if you have already in the same region, you cannot create. First, you need to delete that. Okay, but you can create in another region. You can create in another region. And you need to create access connector. You need to grant the privileges to that data lake gen to then provide the path, particular path. Now let's go and verify. This is a table preview, create a table. Let's say it is trying to create a table. Once it's creates the table, we can go and verify the data as well. We can go and verify the data as well. And if you go to the catalog uh, backend data like Gen to refresh here, it will be available in one folder. And there you can see the tables. Under tables, it will create another folder. There you can find the delta because it is a delta table it is going to create. That's the data file. Okay, even data also just now it is created. Okay, so still in progress, maybe it is committing. But back end, if we go to this location and you can verify this. Under this, 
container i created a meta store as a separate folder inside this it's for created as another folder there it is creating a tables inside that you can see the tables and normally this data lake you should not give access to everyone because the back end is very important so you should not give access to everyone so you should control the access so so user level that's a role based access control acl both are possible so read write execute privileges which you can control to other users only administrators go and verify this but uh, other users you should control this this is the table table is created delta table and you see this hierarchy catalog database or schema table and if you even you can go and see the data sample data and it is going to execute on this cluster right so you can see the cluster okay so now details so that storage location you can see this under metas to and the, the tables and it is created one hash value unique id it is created and delta properties and that information full name path full path okay now permissions also you can find here inherited from catalog history also you can find this because it's a delta table and the lineage also you can find here if you are creating any table and notebooks workflows everything which you can find here okay so the that's about a lineage which you can see this this is the meta still so currently only one table i created even i'm not created any notebook this is about unity catalog how to create a meta store and that while creating meta store remember these things then after that grant the privileges then create a meta store create a schema or a database this is a database or schema inside that tables will be there this information which you can access using information schema if you go to the catalog sample data you see that catalog is available if you go to that tables only one table just now we created so that also you can see in this one table we created this is the table these are our information schema tables okay those are our information views actually it's not a tables it's a views so if you go to the views you can see the all the views this is okay and if you go to the tables we can see that and the sample data and if you this is the type you see main is table we created a main is table this is main is table so that is the advantage of information schema and that entire data which is available in these views which you can go and use this views columns information will be available here okay this is a so location column like this more data is available which you can go and query using notebooks using notebooks which you can go and query so this way which we can configure unity catalog we can create a meta store we can create a catalog we can create a schema a database we can create a table like this which you can go with this and additionally which you can go for creating a storage credentials creating external locations so there is an option here there is a storage credentials option which you can go with the manage identity which you can go with the service principle so manage identity is recommended even service principle also is available manage identity which you need to grant the privileges which you go and you expect so access connector and other information similarly external locations also you can create external locations so you need to provide the path select that storage credentials this is the existing storage credentials and which additional credentials also you can add additional credentials okay so this way which we can go for configuring unity catalog creating meta store in databricks if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day